So this is a, a little tutorial on how to program a logo into the giant printer. And we do that with a PC application, okay? And so when you are, when you're normally connected to the SPS 2000 cash register, you're normally gonna be connected to the printer with this little cable. That's gonna go right there normally. Now, when we're programming the logo, we're going to unplug that, and instead we're gonna use a USB cable. And we'll plug that right into the back of the printer. Like so. And we'll plug that into the computer, obviously. Now, on the computer, you'll find the program called Giant Tool.exe. And the first thing it has to do is go to the port setup and tell it for sure that it's USB and say OK. And then you see these icons light up. And then you can go to logo setup. Now you would you'll open files. And for example, I've got a coupon here and I'll say open another file. And I think I've got that in my pictures directory for the Cleelum Bakery. We'll open that. So now you see we've got two files. One is logo, uh, one is, uh, well, it's got that date number. Anyway, we're gonna click the download button. So, it's going to be written right into the memory of the printer. So we'll say yes. And you see it's updating. And there was a little noise that the printer made. We'll say OK. Next, we're going to enable the top logo option. And the image number You'll notice that it's the logo.png is label number two, or is uh, number two. Okay. Number, <laughs> okay. Number two. And we're gonna center that. And it, I always set it to print logo at power on to enable. I don't think it's necessary, but uh, if you disable, then I don't think it would print until you printed an image. Then the next thing is the bottom logo. And the bottom logo is the... Um, uh, coupon. The coupon, thank you, sorry. Image number is one, and we're gonna center that, and we're gonna set that logo option. And now we're gonna test print. And so we see the logo, we see the, uh, the coupon. And so now we hit close. And that's now part of memory in the printer. So now we go back to port setup. And actually we click close and we'll have to restart this. back to port setup and we'll choose serial and make sure that the baud rate is set at 115.2 and say OK and then exit. Okay. Next, we'll remove the USB cable and in its place we'll put the serial cable. 
that's that. So, so that's it.